Hi, it's John. It's the 6th of May 2014 and um, our back garden is fair old size, it's about 250 square metres and I suppose about half of it is down to grass. Got a good, good area of grass and the chickens keep it down fairish but um, I've had to do the first mowing about uh, three days, three or four days ago, wasn't it? And I don't like to waste the grass cuttings. I um, try to make them into hay if I can for the rabbits, uh, for the chickens and rabbits, because it's nice and soft. Um, last night we had rain, so I bundled it up into a big bag and put it in the shed until the rain had passed. And now John's going to get the hay going to our brick shed that's our pussy down there that pussy oh here he comes with the hay and that's the apple blossom above him oh the cat's running away Must be quite heavy, must be still quite wet. <laughs> Seems to be laying it out before he's let these chickens out. Just hope it will keep sunny. Lovely and sweet smelling. Mm. There we go. That's a nice swarve, isn't it? There. A nice swarve. Oh, is it a swath? I don't know. <laughs> There's the swath of lawn mowings, or it's half turned hay. It's a bit grave shaped from here. It's half turned. It's not. You can't really say it's fresh lawn mowings anymore. It's half turned. And that would right. be very useful if we managed to make it into hay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let those chickens out now? Well, no, not really, because I've got the others out. Okay. Hi, it's John. It's the 11th of May, and the hay is now made. Um, it's been in the shed for two days, because we've had two rainy days. Um, it's got this big bag from somewhere, so I've just had it in there. And of course it's heated up in the shed, and then put it outside, and what with the heat and the windy day and that, it sort of made itself. So I think I would need, well, it won't be packed in, it just loosened the big bag with the bag open, so uh, that's mission accomplished. <laughs>